Hustlers out there, my name is Simone Donnies and I am so excited for you guys to be here. If you are new, welcome. If you are an OG, thanks for joining me once again. Let's go ahead and get into this 12 Sips of Christmas drink number nine. Whoo! So drink number nine. Man, drink number nine. I've kind of been interested in this one. It is called a tiramisu martini. It just stuck out to me because I've always been kind of fascinated by tiramisu. Uh, I'm not like I would say a connoisseur or a crazy lover of tiramisu by any means, but just to have the taste of tiramisu in a cocktail, I feel like is going to be uh, an interesting one. Today, our recipe is from Trop Rockin, and it requires 1.5 ounces of Kahlua, 1.5 ounces of rum chata, 1.5 ounces of Godiva chocolate liqueur, 1.5 ounces of half and half cream, then we got some whipped cream, some chocolate syrup, some chocolate shavings, and chocolate cocoa to kind of dress everything up. So I have everything out here, which I've been trying to do in every single video of ours. But for right now, we're going to start with basically kind of chilling our glass without having to put it necessarily in the freezer and I just used kind of like my muddler um, and tried to like smash some of the ice just because I don't know I didn't get too involved with it but I'm now chilling our glass and then I'm going to stick this to the side but don't put your tin away because we are going to add all of these ingredients well besides like the chocolate syrup and the dressings kind of but we're gonna add all the liquors into the tin shaker and just mix it up pretty easy. So let's do it. So we have one and a half ounces of Kahlua. One and a half ounces of rum chata. If I can get it open. <laughs> and a half ounces of ronchata. One and a half ounces of Godiva. So basically equal parts of all of your liquids. <laughs> oh, you guys have no idea how long I've been waiting to try this and I will still have to wait to try it until May, but that's okay. <laughs> One and a half ounces of our half and half cream. You can also use like an almond, just a plain almond creamer if you wish. And then of course, one of my favorite parts, shake. <laughs> I've been working on the technique a little bit, so you guys in the comments below tell me how I did. <laughs> okay, well, my fingers are officially cold, and if you can see, there is some perspiration. Now take our chilled glass, and I'm gonna dump out the ice, and now we're going to dress. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of our chocolate syrup here, and I'm just going to do kind of like a little pretty, you know, nothing too crazy. It's like a little pretty design here. So there we go. There's our little pretty dressing up here. And then we're going to go ahead and I'm gonna double strain just because like I said, I did use some crushed ice in there. So one strainer, two strainer. We'll go ahead and double strain that into our martini glass. Perfect. Then I'm gonna just go ahead and take our whipped cream here. I'm gonna do like a nice, just little, just dainty little whipped cream thing on the top. Again, this is for Robbie. He's not too fond of whipped cream, even though that was still a lot, I feel like. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of our chocolate bar and our grater right here. I'm just gonna shave 
Uh, the chocolate on top and apparently all over my counter as well. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all. <laughs> Since I'm not serving this to anybody but my husband, it's sanitary enough. And yes, I did wash my hands, so calm down. <laughs> oh Lord, and then we're gonna go ahead and just take a little bit of this cocoa. And I'm just going to sprinkle that right on top. All right, let's go ahead and have Robbie come in and test it out. <laughs> this is the tiramisu martini. It's got Kahlua, Rumchata, and the Godiva chocolate liqueur that you've been pumped to try, so. Nice. I am very excited about this one. I've been eyeing this bottle ever since uh, Simone bought it. Yeah, it just, just looks good. I just yeah. wanna like chug the bottle, but here we go. <laughs> I haven't eaten a lot of tiramisu in my life. <laughs> That's what I said at the beginning too. I was like, oh. From what I have had, I would say it's close. What else, do you put any milk in it or anything? Uh, half and half. Half and half. Yeah, maybe it needs to be a little more creamier. Like I could almost see like heavy whipping cream in it. Yeah. To, um like help with the creamy because that's what that's the only thing i'm missing i feel like i get the cinnamon flavor yeah but i don't get like the icing type texture of it the whipped. as far as a flavor perspective goes the rum chata is dominant i would probably rate it an eight yeah because i like the flavor just like the shot yeah um, just like the cinnamon roll shot like i said the flavor is pretty similar yeah in my opinion but the drink's more festive right like you got the shavings if you looked at this on a menu though, and then this was the result, like I just wonder, I don't know. I guess you would see that it's a tiramisu cocktail. Yeah. And maybe that's that, that you would expect that. But when I look at these, if I would look at these ingredients and it wasn't like labeled tiramisu, yeah. I would maybe expect a different taste. Sad day, I still can't taste test it, but it's fine. Like I said, it's good. Isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, I'll love, happy holidays, and we will see you in the next adventure. Bye.